the old 5060 when I just first got here. Like a guy like Ryan Corgill was, uh, is it literally as good as anyone in the province. I mean, the, the numbers that he put up offensively for us were 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 astounding. We also had some uh, some a solid import crew from the guys that played with the University of Alberta Golden Bears, and, and their reputation precedes them as well. So we had, I think I had Richard Nault was from there, and I, the guy that turned into my D partner when I got there was Kelly McLean. Uh, you know, good hockey players, obviously all around, and that's what made both these teams really special. But especially that first one it was the depth of our talent for sure. I think I started the game or my first shift of the game, I took a penalty and they scored on the power play, uh, and, and kind of went from there. Back in Metal Lake, same same situation, same penalty, honestly. Uh, and uh, I go to the penalty box and we scored two shorthanded goals on that penalty, and that place was nuts. I mean, I remember distinctly remember uh, Ryan Corgo who led our provincials in scoring and let our team probably let the province in scoring honestly that year uh picking up the puck at our blue line and skating in on a breakaway and you can see the rink just rise up as he skated past it was it was really and the rink was packed and uh, i mean everybody in the rink including their goalie knew ryan was going to score on that goal yeah i mean it, it's obviously there's a lot of pride in that from the guys that were involved with it but also as a community i mean metal lake uh, metal lake's a hockey community uh, the, that rink was was jam-packed unlike anything i've ever seen in senior hockey and uh, it was a big rink and and uh, unfortunately it burned down but uh we're gonna replace it with something similar and, and there still is that community drive and support for their senior team and and uh, hopefully uh it's something that they can get excited about again in the future the meadow lake stampeders senior a hockey club was a dominant force in saskatchewan hockey during the 2005-6 and 2007-8 seasons in the 2006 playoffs they were undefeated against onion lake kindersley Ross Thurn and Saskatoon on their journey to a hard-fought battle against the Southie Marlins in the finals. All series at the time were in a best-of-three format, and the Stampeders suffered a 7-3 loss in Game 1 when the team struggled to stay out of the sin bin with nearly triple-digit penalty minutes. They refocused and won the next two games, 6-1 and 4-2, in order to raise their first provincial banner in nearly four decades. Despite falling in playoffs to the eventual 2006-07 Senior A Provincial Champions, the Kindersley Clippers, the Stampeders never took their sights off another title. Once again, they would face off against the Southie Marlins in the final during the 2007-08 season. The first game ended in a 5-2 win for the Stampeders, but the Marlins forced overtime in the second game, where the Stampeders won 4-3 in the fifth frame thanks to Leighton Allison's midnight goal and a great save by goalie Rick Dallin minutes earlier in front of over 1,500 hometown fans at the Meadow Lake and District Arena. Winning these two provincial titles with only one playoff loss, as well as claiming the 2008 Wild Goose Hockey League Championship, cemented the Meadow Lake Stampeders as a dynasty in Saskatchewan hockey history. Meadow Lake's only other Senior A championship was in 1968, and with the 2006 and 2008 victories, the Stampeders made a lasting impact on the sport in the province. They will be forever part of the Ted Knight Saskatchewan Hockey Hall of Fame, inducted under the team category.